Hi everyone, welcome to another Machine Learning Monday. So last week I showed you my mini data pipeline and machine learning solution that I've built using Data Factory and the Azure Machine Learning Software Development Kit. And this week I want to show you another interesting capability that Azure Machine Learning has. So in addition to the notebook structure that I've already showed you last week, there are also two other ways to do machine learning within this program. You can either go to the machine learning automated machine learning uh, platform where you basically just add your data and Azure does all of the hard work for you, picking the right algorithm, doing all of your hyperparameter hyper tuning and generally optimizing your model. Or there is the low or no code machine learning designer where you can use pre-built components um, to create a visual pipeline where your data travels through all kinds of typical steps like data cleaning, transformation, and then model training and model validation. So today I'm going to show how you can actually leverage the auto machine learning capability within a notebook. So as before, we start by creating a workspace um, because this is the central object where everything gets attached. And then we do the normal thing by creating a data store and data step set. And this is actually just bringing in a local file. Um, we're using the Titanic data set that tons and tons of toy projects get based on. So we're actually going to, um, to figure out who, who would survive the Titanic today. And um, we're going to do something a little bit different this time. When you do a auto machine learning job, you have to create a special compute cluster that goes with it. So I'm just creating an auto ML cluster, um, which is your standard compute size of D11 V2. It's a pretty small uh, compute cluster, it only has two nodes, and we're just gonna create that. And then we are going to uh, quickly make sure that the correct package is installed. And then we are going to create our auto ML training configuration. So this is going to be a classification model. We're going to classify whether people survived or didn't survive. Um, we are specifying our compute target. We've got our training data. I've chosen a validation data set size of 30%. Now this is a pretty small data, data set to begin with, only about a thousand rows. So Potentially, I could have done with a smaller, a smaller proportion, maybe 20%, but I've just decided to go with this. Um, we've got our label column name because this is what we're trying to predict. And I have set the uh, normalized macro recall as, uh, as the primary metric that we're going to work with, just because I think it's a little bit easier to understand than some of the other metrics like accuracy. I'm only going to let it do two concurrent iterations because that's the number of nodes I have and we're going to give it a 15 minute timeout and we are going to give it auto futurization. Um, so here we have the actual experiment run. Let me quickly, oops, let me quickly run this again so that we have the config all sorted. And now this is running a auto machine learning run for me. So as you can see, it's connecting with my workspace. It's going to uh, submit that run and then gonna do all those clever bits for me. Eventually, I will be able to get the best experiment and viewing results. So in Blue Peter style, here is one I did earlier. Um, I have got all of the run IDs here and the accuracy scores that are attached to them. And I, uh, and I can actually also see the run over here. So here's the one that's currently running and I can access my run from earlier and see what my best, um, my best uh, model was. So the best model was the voting ensemble. Um, so I can go in and view the details like here we go. Here's the actual, um, here's the actual uh, code that sits behind the algorithm. And I can see its macro recall was 0.64 which isn't great, but you know, this was a very short training run, only 15 minutes. If I let it go for longer, it would probably be a bit better. So there we go. There is a very short view of how you can leverage the Azure Machine Learning Software Development Kit to connect with AutoML and run models super easily without having to manually set any of the hyperparameter tuning or do any of the data transformation. See you next week.